All right, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. I'm like crouched down because the tripod that I'm using today is like not tall enough. So I'm sorry for like the awkward positioning. Um, but today's video is gonna be pretty much like just a cluster of a bunch of stuff that I gotta do around the house. It's been a while since I do like a more productive vlog. And I mean, seriously, I have a crap ton of stuff to do today. So let's just get to it. I've got a bunch of stuff to tidy up, clean up. Um, I've got boxes to open. I've got a Thrive package at my front door. I think I'm getting a home chef later. I've got to cook dinner. And then probably the most exciting thing today, honestly, is I had ordered like an herb garden kit. So I'm going to attempt um, to do my first bit of like gardening and putting those together so we can do it together as soon as it comes in. So that is it. We'll keep the intro short and sweet. So the kids are here playing, but we're going to now start cleaning up because it's already been um, like the first half of the day is almost done. They were painting, they were playing, so we've got a mess to clean up. Can you guys see this? This was them playing with their paints and painting Peppas and all of that. So we've got to put all of this in the garbage. All right, let's get to it. Hey, put the Lincoln logs in where they belong. What? Lincoln logs in where they belong. All right, kitchen for the most part is tidy, which is nice because I'm gonna be making their lunch soon and I needed to have that cleaned up, tables cleaned up. The reality of this, my friends, is that I'm doing all of that and meanwhile, in the background, I'm hearing screams, I'm hearing Riley saying, Jackson's taking my Lincoln logs! And then I went over to see what's happening and then she's like, Jackson was throwing the Lincoln logs! So I get questions all the time like, oh, how do you do anything productive when the kids are around? I just try, I try my best. Um, there's usually fighting involved. I'm hearing screams. Obviously, I'm watching to make sure that they're okay. I'm going to check on them, but it's it's like an insane process, okay? It's not calm. It's not relaxing in the slightest, but I try to get something done. Otherwise, at the end of the day, it will be a complete, you know what, kind of show. So let's do this. Let's clean up, tidy up some toys. This will become a mess later on today, but at least it'll give me a clean space so I can tackle the rest of the things I have to do. Riley, come pick up any other, um, I need any other blocks that are over there that Jackson took out. Can you put it here and put together that little stack of um, blocks like you did last time? What? Oh, man. You did a great job last time. Yeah. You're like an expert block maker, block power no, maker. No, I can't do this all by myself. I was about to make a Lincoln log out. Okay, as soon as you're done with that, you can make a Lincoln log out. For many crazy. Okay, as soon as you're done with that, you can do that. It'll be so Okay, so precisely seven seconds later, there's already toys, even toys that I just cleaned up. 
on the floor. So that's enough of that. I'm gonna go down to the laundry because I've got some clothes to put. Um, so let's take this down there, get it in the wash. Okay, so I'm gonna put our clothes to wash. Um, and then I've got some of Jackson's clothes that have been drying that I can go and like put away in his room. But something that um, is new, like since I'm down here, I've been trying out a new um, detergent. So this isn't sponsored by them or anything. But I used to get like the Tide, like gentle, free, free, free and gentle pods, which is what these are over here. Um, and I used to use also like all free and clear, right? So like these are all detergents that I've used. But I've been trying this, the Molly Suds, which is supposed to be a little bit cleaner. Like it's always on like the clean ingredients list. So this is a powder that I just throw in there with the clothes. And so far I like it. I saw it because my sister actually, that's what she was using for Everly's clothes at my mom's house. So I've been trying it and so far I don't have bad things to say about it. So let me do this fast because the kids have come down to the basement. Fabulous. Okay, I put away Jackson's clothes um, and the kids are, at least for right now, they're content over there playing with their toys, but I am not content because I'm fading away. It's like noon and I haven't had anything to eat all day. Oh, there's gonna be screaming in like one second. Um, so I'm gonna make myself some lunch, you guys, because I cannot function anymore until I have something in my system. I think I'm gonna make some tuna and have like a tuna bagel because yesterday I made sourdough bagel. So I showed them on Instagram, but this is what they look like. They didn't come out exactly how they were supposed to. Like my dough was like super, super tough. But for my first time making bagels, I was pleased. So add that to the list of things that I have made. My next thing that I wanna make, can, like how can I hear my brain when that is the background to my life every day? Fun times. But anyway, we'll see if I get around to making something today. I had wanted to make like sourdough discard um, crackers, which is supposed to be really easy to make. If I don't, I'll make it in some other vlog. But after that, the next thing I wanna learn how to make is cinnamon rolls. So I wanna make cinnamon rolls from scratch. So anyway, let me stop talking, let me eat some food, and then maybe we can open up some boxes, we'll see what's next. Okay, so I had lunch, I feel restored. I feel like I'm not gonna pass out at any minute. are gonna work on oh. so do you know what this is what is it we are gonna plant some herbs oh my goodness do you want to yeah i do of no. course this would probably be easier to do without the kids but i, I knew that. that riley would want to be part of our first <coughs> attempt okay. at these culinary Excuse herbs. Me, so we're gonna open this up, okay? Okay, in a couple of days are gonna grow and grow. So we've got a little successful growing starts here. Oh! Is this like a little booklet? Oh. I suppose Great. I could read through these things. Wow! Plant and grow, transplant, prune and harvest. So we'll start with that. Hey, these I need. These are like the little seeds. How cute. Can you see that? That's where all of the different seeds come. So we've got this one that's cilantro. That one's cilantro. We have parsley, basil, thyme, and 
stage. Those are the ones that we are going to and plant I got this in here. Good. Let's hold on to these. So these are the seeds. So we've got the seeds so far. I need you to just hold them right there, okay? Jackson, I don't have much space here if you are literally right there. So then you've also got these. You've got the little pots. I'm sure that I could also, I'm gonna make a mess here so I'm gonna have to clean this all up. I'm sure that I could also get like cuter planters, but this will do for now. We've got holes in the bottom. And from the little research that I've done about gardening or planting, I know that it's important that your planters have good drainage. So that's the extent of what I know. So let me read this really quick to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this step by step, um, just once, and then I'll do the rest of them off camera. But, um, so basically what you've got is you've got these little soil discs. They bring one for each of the plants. It's like a hard disc and then they tell you to take a cup so eight ounces of hot water and you're gonna put about half a cup right on top of the disc so I'm just gonna pour half a cup of this then you're gonna let it soak it up so it says it takes like two to three minutes to kind of just like soak it up so I'm just gonna kind of leave it there for a few minutes and just see what happens and then we can kind of start breaking it up. We do not mix that with that, no. All right, so this is pretty crazy. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell, but the soil is definitely absorbing the water. Like it's gotten taller than when I first put it in. It's just soaking up that water, which is very, very cool. So I'm just gonna leave it here for another couple minutes so that all of the water is absorbed. And then after that, we just have to pour the rest of it just to finish hydrating it and then we like fluff it up and then this soil goes into the pot. Okay, I have to show you guys this angle so you can see the difference. This is what we put in there. That's what we put in there. And then this is what it looks like once it's been absorbed, like once the water's been absorbed. And now that that's pretty much done, we'll put the rest of the water on top just to finish hydrating it. So eight ounces total. And then we'll let it kind of do the same and then we can kind of fluff it up with a fork and just kind of stir that out. And then we will have soil for our first herb. How freaking cool! Righty, what do you think? It's really good. Cool. That is, really they're like good. dying to pot. Like they're dying to get in here and do something. This is like the boring waiting part that they were not here for. But let's see if we do at least one of them here with them. All right, this is still kind of absorbing. So first, before we put anything, let's put like, a towel or something underneath because otherwise it's gonna be even more of a mess. I know that this is already a mess, but let's make it less of a mess, okay? Which one do you wanna plant? Do you wanna plant basil, thyme, sage, parsley, or cilantro? I'm gonna plant this one. Basil, okay, do not open anything yet. It's not ready, I'm gonna tell you when, okay? And there is, by the way, in the instructions, like a little guide that walks you through like how exactly to plant it. I think all of these are like the same. But for basil, it just says to um, sprinkle 10 to 15 seeds and then cover with an eighth layer, an eighth inch layer of soil. So that's kind of what we're gonna do here. Just take like 10 or 15 of the seeds. But first we've gotta put some of the soil in there. It looks like, like, it looks like brownies. It looks like brownies. Well, I promise you, you do not want to eat this, okay? Because it's only soil. Yeah, it's soil, so we're not gonna eat this, all right? Okay. We're just mixing it up, getting it ready for the seeds. I'm gonna put some in, which one's this one? This one. Okay. It looks a little messy. Here, Jackson, you wanna put some in there? Yeah. Jackson, you want to? Yeah. Go. Put your hand in there. Put your hand in there. No? You don't want to? Yeah. Go put your hand in there. And get some soil and put it in the cup. Then I, I'm Go. Gonna... He's like, should no. I? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. He's like, no, I'll leave that for Riley to do. <laughs> Come on, Jackson. Yeah. 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 No. no. What do you mean, no? That's how you do it, going to? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna fill this up. Mostly with the soil. I don't know, we'll see in two or three weeks if this actually turns out, you guys. So we're gonna do this. Now, you're gonna open up the seeds and you're gonna get like 10 or 15 of the seeds, okay? So I'll give some to you and I'll give some to Jackson. These are tiny little seeds. Can you guys see? even see them? That's what the seeds look like for basil. You're gonna put those in there. Put them in here, like that. All right, everybody put your seeds in. You can't even see them, they're so microscopic. There we go, that's all we put of the basil. Good job. Now, hold on. 
Now we've gotta put, did everybody put their seeds in? Okay, so now that everybody put their seeds in there, we take the rest of the soil. And we, my seed was work. Hold on, Jackson. No, we don't mix it. We put soil on top then to cover it, it, and then we gotta flatten it out. No, not with that. That's, to, that's a stick to show like what is actually in here. Okay, so I feel like there probably wasn't a ton of soil left. Maybe that's like too shallow. But that's what I got, so that's what I'm working with here. So now you put this right no, like I, that. Let's just stick it right in there. You want it in there? Oh. This? Mm -hmm. No, oh. Jackson, just the one that says basil. And there you go, guys. That is our first potted herb. No, so I don't. we'll see what happens with yeah. this. All right, so here we go. We've got all five of them planted. The kids are <laughs> taking a nap now. So can you guys even see that? There's like a weird shadow, but. I'm gonna keep them here until I figure out what to do with them, honestly. It's 26 degrees outside, so they can't be outside right now, or they will for sure die. So inside, I think they should last for a little bit until it's warm enough that I can put them out there, but I think it said it takes like two to three weeks anyway before you even start seeing anything. So, I don't know. I will keep you guys posted, but that was super fun to do something that I've never done before. So I don't need to tell you that it is way easier to plant to garden without toddlers around. Like I did, it with them for like one and that was enough because everybody wanted to grab the seeds grab the, the little stick grab all the things so i finished the rest on my own and it was much more therapeutic so that's my distance on that um so we're gonna move on now since the kids are down for quiet time i need to go down to the basement and take some um food that i got at aldi i was telling you guys um the other day on instagram that one of the things we're getting back into is like our prepper stuff and re replenishing like the stockpile like our food storage downstairs in the basement now that we know that we're going to be here for a while um for a while it was kind of like up in the air so i didn't want to like keep adding to the food storage but now that we're going to be here i went and i picked up a few things at aldi i'll show you what i got in case you guys need some ideas of like what we keep down there for like extra food prep i did this this month because when i was looking at our grocery budget i realized that we had still some room in our budget since we had spent like a lot of time this month in miami like we didn't use all of our grocery money down there so that's my advice to you guys is like anytime that you find even like five or ten extra dollars in your grocery budget or anywhere in your budget really um like go and take that money and go to the grocery store and pick up like an extra two cans of tuna or two cans of canned chicken or beans or fruit or vegetables like whatever it is that you're gonna keep on hand or want to keep on hand if you want to start like a small stockpile it's not like you ever have to go and spend like five grand on a bunch of food like you can do it little by little so anyway that's enough of that i'm gonna just show you like i got condiments because this stuff um you know you, you want to have this kind of stuff i don't know how long the shelf life is like this says may 2023 so at least if i can't go to the grocery store for any reason for like a month two months like have ketchup right i have mayo um i got some stuff like this bean this chili bean mix they only had one of these but this is super nice because like all you have to do is add it says add one add seven cups of water whisk in soup mix and one can of tomato paste which i'm pretty sure i have down in the basement if not i should so easy i also stocked up on like some baking like chocolate chips and stuff or muffins i got these butterscotch ones too so just like baking stuff, speaking of baking stuff, like active dry yeast, got some extra packets of that for making breads and stuff. This is the rice that Joe and I like to have for dinners. And this says used by 12, 2023. So again, we have some time to use this. This for sure I will eat through because we pair this like anytime that we have chicken or steak or something that we need a side for, we use this and we really like it. And then with that, all you need is to, you know, cook it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Got some more everything but the bagel seasoning. I think I might keep that up here actually because I ran out of the one that I had up here. I always stock up on olive oil too, extra virgin olive oil. Because when you think about like food prep, um, a lot of times you think of, you know, oh, I want to have like extra meat, extra steak or whatever stuff to eat. But then like, how are you going to cook it too? Like, don't you usually use like olive oil? like i don't know cook it on the stove or maybe it's just us that is you know something that we always have to have so got some of that got baking powder got some honey we go through honey like crazy for baking and just in general we like honey so got that this is like one of my favorite um peanut butters that i love to give to the kids and to use the ingredients i don't know if you can read it back there's just 
organic peanuts and salt I think yeah sea salt so this isn't something that's gonna go to waste anytime soon and then I always have like extra crackers extra cereal this is one that I got there from Aldi I don't know how great it is but it's not like the worst and then I stocked up on some sugar I got questions asking how to properly store this I honestly don't know okay but I know that it says best buy um, January 2024 so I still have some time like it should last like this right for that long or maybe I have to do something to it I will look into it and let you guys know but I did get some sugar and funny enough when I went to Aldi like that was like one of the pallets that had been like depleted almost like there were only a few bags of sugar left I don't know everybody wants their sugar so now I have like a couple extra bags you know in case you know I can't go to the store for a month or two like I have some sugar and then this is cinnamon applesauce this is something else that I like to have in our preps not the cinnamon in particular but we have lots of applesauce in the house because the kids like it this one too it's um what does it say it says apple sugar water cinnamon natural flavor absorbic acid so not the best because it's got natural flavor I think but whatever that's like more of a treat applesauce and then I got um, just some more canned goods I will tell you we have some canned goods down in the basement like we had a lot of like this fruit cocktail and we had like um, canned pineapple like things like that and what I did is this weekend I took some out of the basement and I opened them up to actually try them to see if it's something that I'll even eat see if it's something that I even like because I was just like buying stuff like that and keeping it in the basement and then I was like why don't I just buy this the ones that I actually like how they taste so I will tell you that these mandarin oranges in light syrup I actually like how these taste like they taste just fine coming out of the can um and then when you put them in the fridge and they're colder they're even better so like I will I will actually eat this like I would eat this today not in an emergency like I would actually eat this so I'm gonna buy that at the store for emergencies versus buying pineapple which I tasted out of the can and it tasted like caca like I did not like how that tasted at all so there's no point in me keeping it down in the basement if I have other alternatives you know so got fruit cocktail got more of those mandarins because I like them and then I also got like sliced carrots I just have a bunch of cans here I'm not gonna show you like all of them but I did find some of these chunky soups like sirloin burger like people buy this stuff like for hurricanes and just preparedness overall um, so it's not a bad thing to have like a little bit you don't have to go crazy if that's not your thing for us it's our thing but you know just like stuff like this you never know what's gonna happen right got this one that's like steak and potato so I got that refried beans just some canned stuff so I'm gonna take this all down to the basement that should give you at least some ideas of the stuff that we keep um if you guys have any questions about like food storage prepping all of that like i have like more things that i want to show you and more content that i want to do so stay tuned for that because that is gonna come because that's kind of like the the stage we're in funny enough let me show you the books are up here joe actually had gone and placed an order from amazon and he showed me these books that he bought i had no idea that he bought them and then they arrived at my doorstep so he wants me to learn a little bit about canning and preserving things i don't know do you just like put the beans in the can and close the can like i don't know anything about canning but we have resources so that we can look into it from the little i know about canning i know that like it can be really bad if you don't know what you're doing so again until i actually know what i'm doing please do not take any of my advice because i don't want anybody getting like sick or anything but especially if you're gonna can things like the more serious stuff like meats and stuff i think people can even that like if you don't can it the right way like you can literally get sick and die if you do it wrong so no pressure you better not mess it up okay so it's a million years later i took care of some stuff that i needed to put in the basement um then the kids like jackson only slept super short today so it's just been one of those days one of those days where the kids are driving me crazy i've yelled way too much maybe you haven't seen it here on camera but believe me i have yelled so when they woke up from quiet time and naps or whatever we had a little ice cream party to just like reset at the afternoon we had an ice cream party we've been relaxing watching toy story so now it's like four yeah it's like 4 10 so I've got to start thinking about dinner. I'll get a Home Chef box that's up front. We'll open it up. But I'm also, I'm going to try to make the crackers. So the sourdough discard crackers, I'm going to preheat the oven to 325 because then the process of baking is like 
10 minutes and then another 40 minutes so it takes like a little long for them to bake and then i want the oven to be free in case i need it for dinner tonight so let's do that the recipe should be super simple like i was looking at the the website where i get the recipes it's from little little farm little spoon farms that i've done a bunch of her other recipes but i will walk you through it if you have some leftover sourdough starter um discard instead of throwing it away this is what you can use the sourdough starter for so here we go okay so oven is preheating to 320 so i have my scale down here that i'm weighing so i'm going to take 200 grams of this and i'll have the recipe link down below in the description box if you want to try it out but 200 grams of um sourdough starter So let's see, I'm hoping that I have enough. I need to start just like collecting my discard for recipes like this. Then two tablespoons of butter. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. It says sea salt, but I have Himalayan salt. And then two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. Is that how you say it? This is what I'm using. So two teaspoons of that. This smells really good. And then we're gonna mix this up, super simple. And then we're gonna put this on parchment paper and just kind of spread a thin layer. So I'm just gonna pour this on here and then we'll spread it out once I get it all there. So this is something that, I mean, if it works out and it tastes as good as she thinks it does and the people in her reviews and stuff, then this is a good way to not like waste your discard like your sourdough starter you have to like throw some away or use it in recipes otherwise it just gets too much like it gets out of control like you'd have like a giant container of sourdough starter so when they talk about discard recipes that's what it is like you're just using parts of the starter that you would normally just like throw away so we're not wasting anything here we're actually putting it in a recipe so that would be really nice so I'm just trying to make it as even as possible. And then we're gonna bake it for 10 minutes. Then you come back after 10 minutes and you like, well, I'll show you, we'll like use a pizza cutter to kind of form the crackers. And then after that, you have to keep it baking for a little longer. Okay, this is not the most beautiful thing, but I think that is as good as it's gonna get. So once the oven starts, I'll get this baking. Oh wait, before I put it in the oven, it does say to sprinkle with some salt. So I'm just trying to toss that a little bit with salt. And there we go. So now we'll put this in for 10 minutes. Okay, so this is what they look like after 10 minutes. So we're just gonna like form the um, the crackers. So we're just gonna take like a little, little line going this way. Okay, great. I'm not gonna have straight. <laughs> straight lines but that's all you're doing you're just scoring it so that as they bake they go baking in like little squares it's super thin and again this is my first time making these so i guess i'll learn as i go making them but we're just making the little squares Okay, so that's good enough. Now they're gonna go in the oven for another 40 minutes. All right, so now while those bake, I'm gonna go get my Home Chef box. Let's go see what the kids are doing first. Let's see, they've been playing rather nicely. Jackson asked for like a bowl of cereal. Now he's having an apple, so he's snacking, right? He's playing. And once again, this is the state of the family room. So remember, the beginning of this video was cleaned. Now it is not, but that's fine because they've been quiet and they've been letting me, you know, get some stuff done. So. Jackson, how's your apple? Is it good? You like it? Okay, so I think we're making good timing because Joe just texted me that he's on his way home from work, which means that hopefully I should have like dinner prepared by the time he gets home. Yesterday, I will tell you, yesterday that did not happen. Yesterday, Joe walked through the door. The house was a complete state of chaos. I look like a zombie. I had been organizing Riley's closet, so it took me all afternoon. So I, like we had leftovers for dinner. So like there are some days where it's just not, it's not a good day. Like when he comes home from work, 
um, which I know, like, I, I do my best, right? Some days I try and I'm able to, and then other days I try and I'm not able to. So given that that was the kind of day we had yesterday, today I'm gonna try to make it a nice, you know, nice positive experience when it gets home. So this is what we have to work with this week, um, shrimp taco salad bowl. I'll probably make that for lunch or maybe save it for a Friday when we're not eating meat right now. Um, lava cake, best lava cake ever, love that. Um, White wine, chi white wine chicken scallopini. And what else? What is this one? This one is creamy sausage and pesto, some kind of pasta. So where are my recipe cards? Well, this is all the meat, first of all. And my code with them, it's still like, I have like a referral link with them. It gets you like $35 off, I wanna say. So it's always in my description box. Like whenever you ever wanna try it, if you ever wanna try it and use my link, it's always there. But these are the recipe cards. So like what I like is that it'll tell you like prep and cook time, like on the bottom of these cards. So this one says 20 to 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, um, 35 to 45 minutes. And then this one should be super easy. This is like one of the fast, like the 15 minute meal kits. So. Should we do that one? What should we do? I'm gonna save this one for Friday, but do we do a pasta? I think I'm gonna do one of the chickens, but which one should I do? I could do the quick one, but today I actually have a little bit of time, so we could probably do this one. Does it look difficult? Well, it's gonna require the oven, which I am using right now. Does this one require the oven? No, so we can do that. We can do the quick and easy chicken with some kind of ranch dressing and butternut squash. Let's do it. All right, so interestingly enough, this has never happened to me before with Home Chef. Either they forgot to give me the 15 minute meal kit for the recipe that I was actually gonna make, or they gave me a card, like a recipe card for a meal that I didn't order. So I'd have to go back and look at my account. But either way, I don't have that one. So, wonderful, love it. So let's just do this one. And then if I have to like roast, if I have to wait a little while to roast the veggies, I will. So we're gonna improvise, not the end of the world. So dinner is pretty much done and prepped and ready for when Joe gets home. I'm just waiting for the veggies to finish roasting a little bit and I've gotta like prepare the kids like what they're gonna eat. They're gonna eat a little bit of the chicken. Like I put the chicken without the sauce for them and then I've gotta make them something else. But the crackers, you guys, the crackers are amazing. Like the fact that there's like hardly anything in this, so easy to make, it's a way to like not have to throw away my discard. They are so good. So, and that's what I'm just like having them by themselves. Like if I had cheese on them or something else on them, they'd be even better, but they are so good. Never in a million years did I think I'd make myself crackers, but they are super, super good. So definitely check those out. Um, some of them, I made them a tiny bit thin, let me show you. So some of them were like a little bit thin. 
so like they didn't turn out like all that much like they just kind of crumble but the ones in the middle and like a lot of them turned out fine so i, I might actually give them to the kids to try give them a couple because my kids normally like crackers and i don't see why they wouldn't like these so put that on their plates and then joe can try them joe's gonna love these i know joseph and he's gonna love them but you see how like they just break apart since they've been scored like that one wasn't perfectly scored but does not really matter and then you can just go making like batches of this like this makes me so happy so if i'm ever in the mood for crackers and i don't have any now i can make some and there we go dinner is ready joe's not even home yet so i am a happy camper right now i know that it might not look beautiful but it actually tastes very tasty so um, i'm gonna put these on the table get everything ready finish cleaning the kitchen and then I'll be done in here. All right, guys, so it is actually way later. Um, we did dinner. Joe and I also did our marriage class that we have every Tuesday. So we did that, and it's, what, 9, 9.45. We finished a bunch of laundry also. I didn't get any of this on camera. I'm very sorry, but I was exhausted. Um, did two loads of laundry today. So that was very good. And now I'm trying to, like, repaint my nails. And then... At some point, call it a night. I, mean, I might still have to do a little bit of editing. Joe is currently packing over there. If you want to say hello, Joseph. <laughs> he's packing because he's leaving out of town tomorrow for like a work trip. And it's the first time that he's leaving me by myself here with the kids ever since we moved to Virginia. So a little anxious about it. You'll be fine. Thanks. But we're going to do it. Like normally whenever Joe would have like a work trip, we would drive down to Miami and then he'd fly to wherever he had to go um, from Miami so I could like be with my parents and we're not doing that this time so it's a big step for me it's a short trip like relatively short it's just like he's gone like three days and really it's more like two days because he'll be home in two days but wish me luck by the time that you guys see this video by the way he will be back home like I'm not telling you guys exactly when he is leaving but that is what's going on so it'll probably be a little bit of a late night because he's got to pack and get all his stuff together but i'm gonna just finish my nails maybe jump in the shower <laughs> and then call it a night because it was a long day i feel like i got a lot done i mean i hope that you guys also maybe got something done while you watch this video but i was super productive today and that's the thing with like these kinds of videos like i was really productive today i wanted to get a lot of things crossed off of my to-do list because tomorrow and really like the rest of the week i don't want to have a lot of things to do so even though today it was mostly like the kids were playing independently or fighting together like one of the two um i didn't spend as much like one-on-one -on -one time with them as i normally like to like we did the seeds and stuff but you know there's more days where i'm more like focused on them like we didn't do schoolwork with riley today so tomorrow so wednesday thursday and friday will be like my days with the kids so i try to balance it out like some days the work is a little bit more spread out between the days today and even yesterday with organizing riley's um closet we're like hardcore get stuff done those kind of days because i knew that joe was going to be gone for the next few days so i don't have to really stress about too much just get to relax and kind of enjoy the kids um have some slower days so that's what like the rest of my week will look like so i don't want you guys ever to like see a video like this and to think that this is what my life looks like every single day because i would legit be a crazy person like way crazier than i already am so <laughs> look at joe nodding it's like absolutely but hey was it nice you had your dinner prepared for you when you got home from work yes I think it was a, a nice evening i tried really hard for you joseph and he's loving our new herb babies he thinks they're the cutest things <laughs> he literally could not care any less you're gonna like it though when well you don't even do you even eat cilantro cilantro sage thyme any of those will you like them basil no <laughs> um but yeah i showed him the the herbs and he was like okay cool <laughs> and then riley of course riley's so funny like the minute that i planted them she's like look i can see it it's growing there's a little stick and i'm like child it says that it takes like two to three weeks so you better chill 
So anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that it gave you some motivation. Um, I will keep you posted on all the things, keep you posted on my plants, all of that. So make sure for any reason you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the little notification bell um, because there's a lot, a lot of things that we have planned for the next few months. So I love your freaking faces. Thanks for being here. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.